지금 이 순간부터 날 보고 눈살을 찌푸린 자들은 모두 신고합니다 입사를 명받은 그레고르라고 합니다 작전에 함께 투입돼서 영광입니다 Alright guys, so let's go. Let's go. The bus wasn't all that light. You could hear Rodius occasional quips or his Heathcliff starting pointless quarrels with someone, probably Don Quixote or Sinclair. And Yushu demanded a source of heat to light her cigarette. Haven't run out of lighter fluid. Missed the, gri the gripes and disorder, Gregor was pretty much the only sinner I could rely on to willingly turn the mood around. But now, he was one of the quietest. He was just staring out through the window, seemingly lost in deep thought. Well, after what happened, for sure. One thing was for sure. If anyone were to blame for trashing the mood on the bus, it'd be Virgilius. The road to the Golden Bow was an awfully arduous one, putting us on the brink of death and some past that several times, not to mention the, occasion, the occasions when we almost ended up unemployed. Yet Virgilius refused to see from our perspective. Given the circumstances, it's only natural for our sinners to be Probably disgruntled, tired of the silent treatment, Ishmael spoke up. Uh, couldn't you tell me where? Couldn't you tell me where our next de destination is now, at least? Ah, oh, sorry about that. I was wondering whether briefing the mission to you miscreants would be worth that. You're hurting me with your cold shoulder. Don't you know that kids falling behind need more love? And let me plead you not to embarrass me this time. Okay, I mean, it's not... It's not our fault. I mean, there's this... I sure don't want to look like a teacher taking a bunch of grade schoolers out for picnic. I have high hopes for you in particular, Rodion. You might just make a good guide for this tour. Huh? I know I'm a big deal, but I don't think I can be a guide for a place I don't know. No worries, we're heading to a location you should be more than familiar with. A nest of... Islands where you can drown in money or be drained of everything you have. J Corps. <laughs> Great. Even Rodia has gone quiet now. Well, I, su I suppose it wouldn't be so bad to win big while we're at it. Boy, someone wake me up when we're there. Coincidentally, the bus will be unable to take you right to the branch building this time. Dear passenger, Caron, Sharon, park it. Caron, Sharon, what's park? It means stop. Stops are red. Red tastes bad to Sharon. Grumbling, Sharon hits the brakes without warning, sending most of the sinners flying face first into the seats ahead, of, ahead and fling others off theirs. I was, of course, powerless against the inertia. A cacophony of complaints and shouts erupted. Although I didn't get to hear the sinners' ramblings in clear detail, I'm willing to bet a good half of them were profanities, and so maybe I'm better off not knowing. Good to see you all full of energy. Now out. Hmm. The destination still seems rather far. Ah, 
Will you call a taxi for us? As Ms. Faust will explain in detail, this mission is going to be quite different from our last, Dante. This is because the location of the Golden Bow is in the underground of a casino. You mean to tell us that it's among the bright, brightly lit buildings standing at the center of that street? That's right. It's one of those. The, the lobotomy branch facility was in we infiltrated last time was one that had been neglected for quite a while. So you mean that that was that was an exception? Hey, it's times like that, like this, that remind me our team doesn't necessarily lack critical things. It really does make me wonder how you managed to blunder your previous mission even more. Wow. This really like drilling you to them. The Golden Bow is a potent energy source, holding the essence of many technological uh, marvels. Such fonts of energy will attract flows of wealth and people, and in no time a whole civilization is built on top of it. Therefore, it's likely that future destinations will have been occupied by, uh, by other factions and their structures. Which, in turn, indicates that we should be prepared to visit a wide variety of venues in addition to this casino. It also means that your first mission was a relatively easy one, yet you somehow snatched defeat from the wide open mouth of success. Does, does he usually hold grudges that long? Hmm. Don't ask me, we haven't known him much longer than you have. What's he saying? What, 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 what did he say again? Something like, Welcome to La Libis Company, I'm your guide, Virgilius, and all that. Pretty good impression, was it? He got his authority tone down to a T. I'll give you that. I had to hold myself back from asking if I could resign right after joining. I get the feeling that the rest of you thought the same. Nonsense! It was a day to go down in history, beckoned by the Red Gaze himself. Truly, there is no honor greater than a color dressing your... Uh, I guess he does have a fan after all. <laughs> True that. With their spirits lifted, Rodia and Gregor began to chuckle. That's more talking than necessary. I really do not wish there for their to be impetus behind the third rule for this bus ride. Come on, give the employees some room to badmouth their boss. You're being totally petty. Next time, do it out of your shot. I'm more fragile than I look, he said. Right, time to get up and act. I'm sh I sure hope you come back with a golden bow in your hands this time. And if you buckle it twice? Who knows? Sharon might suddenly forget what button to press to open the door for you. Button, button red. Yucky color. You're one daft block. Do it again? What? <laughs> what? And that means. Shorthand for useless, idiotic travelers go and abscon now. Oh, his cliff clear that Yoshu, Yoshu insults insults while welling up in his throat, only to then expel a loud sigh. He resigned uncharacteristically, as if he came to the realization that killing her wouldn't solve anything. Er.
All right, we're gonna go through the streets. Next up is the pawn shop. All right, the pawn shop. Um, yeah, I don't know how to level up these other guys, but <laughs> sure. I'll just like passively level them up. I don't know how to use the level up tickets. Like, it says to give them the level, but I, I don't know how or where to actually use the tickets. Allow me to give a rundown of the plan. Our primary objective is to infiltrate the casino unsuspected. It will be critical for the successful recovery recovery of the Golden Bowl. According to the information we required, the casino has three entrances. One for ordinary visitors, one reserved for VIPs, and lastly, the back door used by employees. We'll split into three groups of four sinners to cover each entrance. Four of us will disguise as crop ears, four will pose as guests, and four will play the role of VIPs. Working in small groups will certainly draw less attention. It is wiser to divide rather than unite. Open the envelopes that gave out to confirm the role you've been assigned. Also, the higher-ups express concern over our performance. They stress that the company's future plans hinge on whether we can retrieve the golden bow through this operation. Therefore, we will collaborate on a joint operation. Joint operation? Our partner is the Special Forces Unit consisting of professionals and veterans. I believe they are now monitored in mon they are now monitored the LCC, short for the Limit Company Clearance Department. Rest assured that they are our betters, at least in espion espionage operations. I thought poor people was already a crowd. Yes, someone finally realized that more isn't always merrier. Wow, sir. I haven't met staff from other teams before. Just where could they be? Hong Lu uh, looked around expecting false to bring them forward for introductions any second. Needless to say, no one showed up like he expected. We'll be heading to the pawn shop. Is pawning still a, still a thing these days? We're in the so-called pawnbroker's avenue. Most businesses double as pawn shops here. That place is our one is our rendezvous. Let's head inside. Okay, so we're gonna fight in this pawn shop, even though it's our rendezvous area. Okay, I guess these ads are not... These normal missions are not getting any harder. <laughs> but of course, the final mission is quite hard. <laughs> Considering could you do Alright, so I guess the this normal I guess these normal missions are kind of like just 
free almost free and then everything is like all the difficulty stuff it's at for the maybe like for the like end of the chapter or something i don't know anyways i got too many wizards at once the shops cramped as it is you'll prefer the, the luck of the draw from trumps or maja as we entered the shop, we were met with a, a gruff greeting of an old pawnbroker. What's that blighter on? Blighter on about? <laughs> Am I the only here? Am I the only one here who read, uh, who read up on Nest J? Virgilius gave us a pamphlet to produce before we left. Well, I think I remember glancing at the cover. Here, you get loaned. You get long different amounts depending depending on your fortune for the day. If you draw a great boon, you get extra cash. Your misfortune means far less than what pawn is worth. Ah, that reminds me. Our family has hired delegate dedicated fortune tellers. They drew a greater boon for me in the div divination they performed before I left. That must have been a sign that I would join all of you wonderful people on our journey. Wow, wow. really? So he indulging in lofty leisure on your grand estate was your fated life. Maybe I should pray that I'm born that rich if there's the next time. I'm good. It's more of folks like him that tend to play dirty. You might be right. I didn't like to get along with my younger sibling in childhood. Always trying to cheat and crouch if things didn't go as I desired. No, that's not what I was getting at. So you want to get your fortune, fortune or not? Forget about that. Do people even have anything to pawn? I'm not seeing any wealth on you. The pawnbroker glanced over each sinner with a dubious look until his eyes landed on me. Oh, oh that clockhead might be worth a good sum. How much do you think they sell for, old pal? Rodia, I'm not for sale. As you were likely contacted in advance, you were from Limbus Company. And unfortunately, neither the sinners nor the pawnbroker were paying any any attention to false words. Oh. Okay. Oh, I did bring this handkerchief with me when I left home. Oh, uh, a dragon embroidered on silk and some meticulous uh, needlework, which my net, let's see, 7 million and a crumpy piece of cloth is worth that much? Have your eyes rotted out, old geezer? What? You don't recognize the value of this quality? Uh, uh, now I see. You're wearing a shabby ring like this true treasure. This, this. What did you just say? Jeez, cut it out, Dante. Please shut them up. You had us, wor you had us worried, Faust. Amidst the chaos, a most gentle voice softly landed on my ears. We were meant to meet, to meet each other at 4, but 15 minutes had passed already. Surely you couldn't have forgotten how to read a clock, right? Certainly not. There was, a li there was little I could do to alter the driver of the bus. Uh -huh. So you're talking... You're taking a clock person with you to help with the time? I suppose they didn't come with an alarm. The gentle voice was soon followed by one that didn't even attempt to hide their disdain. Come on, that's a little harsh. Let's try to leave better than first impressions. I know my voice won't be heard by anyone other than the sinners, but I still can't help but get upset at rude remarks. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, so it was you. You guys are the team that botched the Golden Bell Retrieval last time. Folks had a high expected, expectations for your team. 
What's the, what was some of the smartest people in the city being honest? No wonder. His pose wasn't looking very pleased. My face has remained constant. Uh, what are you standing around for? Go on now. This fellow here is also a brainy sort. Don't brush him off. Brush him off. Heathcliff gave Isan a sideways glance, but what he got in response was a warmth. I shall not, as that would be a hollow want. But you were a lot more talkative down in that basement. Where are you and what did you do with Isan? Um, I am and have always been whom I match in the mirror. You... Forget it. Our first mission was devised with failure in mind. We needed an opportunity to see what potential our sinners held. Wait, it was? Plan whose purpose is to fail? That would hardly qualify as a proposal. By the way, where it is, Virgilius? I agreed to assist with operation mainly for a chance to get to see him. He must have been embarrassed. Imagine accompanying, accompanying people like these. Is that why he dropped us so far away from the place? Because he was ashamed of us? Doesn't anyone have a thing to say about us being belittled? And won't all the boasting and bluffing not to do much if we don't introduce ourselves first? These two will be our cooperators for this mission. They're from the Limbus Company Clearance Department, also known as the LCC. The before team of Clearance, please. Ah, I'm Sol, Solde, and here is Effie. What, are we supposed to clap or... Wonderful, it's a pleasure. Hong Lu was the only person on the team welcoming them with total sincerity. He almost even gave a standing ovation. A good half of the rest stared at the two with cold eyes, and the others varied until introductions were finished. Alright... Alright, so I guess we can just level them up by idling. <laughs> A flawless plan. Now for this mission, we'll basically spoon feed you everything. All you have to do is open wide and chew up your simple tasks. Check the documents in this envelope and do exactly, precisely as the papers say. The way Saudi dragged out that wow needed, a, needed me a bit, but I decided not to argue. Even if I did, the ticking of the ticking of a clock would be all shit here. There's not a lot of joining together at all in this joint operation, is there? You're just telling us to follow from behind. This is insulting. Are they taking us for loopers or what? Look, manager, we got to put our foot down and... And... Do you as they say, I guess? Huh? The documents they gave us, they're flawless. Look at this, it has roots drawn out and everything. It's been ages since I saw a plan this clear and meticulous. Mm -hmm. Surely, this is certainly indicative of their knowledge in writing up proper plans of operation. Ah, this isn't to say that it holds a candle to the level of forethought, you display manager. Convinced by Ishmael's uh, uh, commendation, I opened the envelope and carefully read the rundown of the operation. The goal could be summarized as the following. Reach the top floor of the casino. The, ma the main reason behind organizing this plan was the first place prize for the table game to be held today. According to the papers, 
Winning the competition held on the top floor of the casino is the only way to gain access to the area with a golden bow. Four syndicates that jointly bid on the casino will be playing this in this game of chance. Of the four, we will be using the name of the infamous. Ting? Ting Tangan? A name that doesn't necessarily reflect the nature of an organization. That's a shallow prejudice. It is unideal for one to choose to see things through the tinted lens that is biased. Right. Back to the plan. We'll be this this guy will disguise as the boss of the Tin Tang Gang and win that game of chance. Afterwards, we have to go to the underground floors where the golden bow lies. Leading up to the game, we'll use the items and clothing we can find in pawn shops to disguise as our given roles. Enter the casino and wait for the team on the top floor to win the game. That's about it for the outline of this plan, I think. Hey, wait a second. Wouldn't, won't this entire thing fall apart if our player doesn't win? We prepare fake identifications as well. It's just in case the casino security runs random inspections on visitors. Alright, that's all fine and dandy, but how do you plan to win once you're uh, at the top floor? What do you think our outfits are for? We practice for months to pass off as bona fide crop ears. I'll give you good luck. The game is in your bag. All you need is a pair of functioning eyes. If he mumbled the last part to himself again while casting a slight long scowl on our group. It's making it painfully obvious he has no faith in us. And how are we gonna take the place of the Ting Tang Games boss? We'll put sedatives in the food served at the casino. We were, we've already finished negotiating the details with the head chef. Sedatives. Sedatives. Saudi and Effie winked at each other. It was a gesture demonstrating that the two were ideal partners. Able to tell each other's thoughts just from exchanging glances. Hey, dear pawnbroker, we'll be taking a look at the goods on showcase from here then to there. Uh, uh, no, oh, no, yeah, yeah, sure, of course. Please take your time, man. The pawnbroker's attitude took a sharp turn from disdainful to no to cold. Now then, let's take what we need from the display. Oh my, this is a Gupcha designer brooch, isn't it? Oh, a discerning eyes you have there, sir. This boot is the mainstay of our shop's catalog. Only 10 of those were ever made, so it's worth this positively on. My, my dog used to have one of these on his collar whenever we took it out for walkies. It's so nice to see something that brings back pleasant memories. I guess we are like on the lower, like, there's no tension, it's all jokes for now, and then the tension will build up. It's a strategy for storytelling. I'm down for these cowhide gloves, whoever had them must have been a fashion fashionista. Please take items that suit what's written in the envelopes. You have roles to play. Pardon, but the envelope I have received says janitor. This must be an error or some of some sort. Okay, it's good and all, but do you have the money to pay for all this? Worrying about spending? Who do you think we are? Some low rank hardings? There's nothing I can't afford using this black card. Dante, what's this all about? He told me we can't have prime beef. Because we don't have the budget. So the rumors were true that teams with notable performance are given a company card with no spending limit. But everyone was shocked by the proven existence of the fabled black card. A loud voice came from outside. Rustic standing cane tanner. Why do you turn? Didn't I say a payment was due today? 
Someone who clearly belongs to a vicious syndicate enters the pawn shop. Please give me one more chance. I swear I have the money ready. One more? Can you do basic math? You said the same thing last time. Boss won't like me wasting precious time reteaching you kindergarten. You hear? Uh, I'm just a frail old man standing on do the feet. There's really nothing you'll get out of shaking me down. Even with an over overly loud voice, the pawnbroker looked at us. Uh, you talking bad now? Yeah. Go on then, get mad. I won't feel so guilty that way. In a way, he looked like he was covertly begging us for to help, based on his expression. The sinner's attention was naturally drawn to the ongoing role. What are you looking at? You think I'm playing? Gee, I was so stereotypical, I didn't even get an urge to reply. Can people be more creative about throwing taunts? Shouldn't we help out? Maybe? Unlike Ishmael who scoffed as a goon, uh, goon Sinclair anxiously glanced over. We have no choice. The back streets have their own rules and order. We aren't the ones to disturb, disturb that complex web of their society. Outsiders like us will only cause a bigger scene if you try to step in. Pleased by the sinners choosing to stay away, the goon continued with the extortion. <laughs> if Yang got money, why didn't you pay your dues in that instead? We'll keep it. We keep telling you. Anything but that, please. Is it really okay to leave them be? Shall I settle this the dispute, the dispute for them so it doesn't bother, you, so it does not bother you, manager? What then does that tough mean by, by that anyway? A currency more valuable than money exists in this district. It's well known that J Corp's singularity is a powerful security technology capable of unlocking anything. What is less known, however, is the extensive cultural and historical background of the back streets of Nest J that lead to the singularity's creation. History? Are you seriously about to lecture us here and now? I was never told about any mandatory education when I joined this company. In spite, in spite of the opposition, Faust went down with her explanation. Here, a technology exists to extract wish power from people, though it's not widely known outside this district since it didn't quite have the gen uh, generality to be recognized as a singularity. In essence, it's possessing luck. Uh, into a commodity that can be traded, like a form of money. It brought forth the need for a way to, step, to stop others from forcibly extracting the, this wish power, leading to the creation of a security technology that ultimately developed into the singularity we know today. Yeah, Faust. Must be tiring to teach these dunce in ways they can get it. It's fine. This was within my anticipated scenario. I don't like the way you say that. Come on now, gather the items to help you with your disguises so we can leave. So they flapped the document full of scheduled plans to emphasize that we'd be busy. We're salary workers, not heroes fighting for justice. Wait, not that word. A bad feeling rushing, rushing through my head prompted me to count the sinners I could see. That does not align with certain someone's uh, beliefs. <laughs> right. And it's one that would severely provoke her principles. Ishmael seemed to have noticed what I meant and hurriedly looked around. Now, dears try to pilfer the valuables of others. This behavior can only be seen as wholeheartedly villainy. Oh no. Don Quixote. But it was a moment too late. Don Quixote had already sprinted forward and was swinging her lance as a tin tanner who gripped the pawnbroker by the collar. Whack. Caught completely unaware, 
the goon was hit right on the head with the blunt side of her legs. Knocked out on the floor in a frisky wing swim, the fainted goon became the center of attention for all of us inside the pawn shop for a solid minute. Ah, for your information, keeping the sinners in check is not part of my job description. That would be the job of this person here. Don't give me that look. There's nothing in my abilities to keep her under control. I couldn't stop myself from defending my position even when I was aware that my voice wouldn't reach anyone besides sinners. Well, it's not like my defense would have made them look any less baffling towards me if they could hear it. The pawnbroker was the only one sh uh, shoved by this turn of events. Wait, it work, man! It serves that feeling right. But I'll say, you could have whooped them a tad harder. Maybe. Virgilius advised me that while I am free to deliver justice on villains, I must do so without undoubtedly involving irrelevance in our mission. Thus, I showed moderation. Her proud expression never looks so provoking. Uh huh. So you remembered his words and still leapt forward. It was, a, this, it was a necessary action to stay true to my creed. Please understand my virtuous violence. Not to kill the mood, but that ruffian isn't actually dead, right? I thought you wanted her to get straight to Wallops, old sport. I did, I did, but things would get fairly complicated if the Euro DV. Euro DV? DV? Euro DV showed up? You know? The Euro DV? What are they doing here? No, forget that. Why are you worrying about them? Not up to date with the news, are you, ma'am? You've been causing trouble here for months now. Are they villains as well? Oh, they're villains to us humble merchants for sure. They were going on about, what was it? Roughing up greedy peddlers, giving money to themselves, and giving it to those who need it. Distributing something, they said. The redistribution of wealth. Ah, that's it, yes. Those scoundrels are robbing us poor saps of what little wealth we have, and they don't even do the dirty work themselves. It's always the local brutes they send. Can you believe it? Anywho, life has been hard for us because of those self-righteous brutes. Bunches. Look, look like they were here to find something like first, but all they do now is squeeze money out of us. Uh, I, I just realized, shouldn't we take our leave now? More toughies from the Tindan clan might be coming this way. It seemed like Rodia deliberately cut off the punk broker in a hurry, but I had little time to think about the implications. The gang member Don Quixote had knocked out began to flinch as though to get back up soon. What a hassle. You're making the problem bigger than it had to be. Hey, Muffy and Sable, was it? Don't be so tart now. There are plenty of pawn shops around here, right? You can always find a different... Effie and Sade. Please don't mistake our names for confections. And your statement that there are plenty of pawn shops in the vicinity won't mean much. When said pawn shops notice that the trouble happening here and close, Don Quixote, I'm getting tired of lecturing these idiots on every little thing. We should just leave. Right as I try to leave, someone wearing similar thuggish clothes to the ones uh, to the one we just knocked out, with a face that looked just as tough, stormed into the shop. I will cover. Have you seen our little? He's slimy. Just what's going on here? We did, our, we did our best to pretend to be innocent customers who just happened to be in the pawn shop at the wrong time. However, in an unfortunate occurrence of occurrence of events, the goon came back to sense. Who did this? Tell me now. That bean is gonna regret the day the goose stands. Uh, oh, over there. 
That red time pass. The direction that finger was pointing was simply too unambiguous for me to pretend otherwise. Plus, there's no point in denying that I was meant by right time pass, as I'm sure this would be literally no one else matching that description in this entire district. Just so you don't get the wrong idea, I have nothing to do with these people or what happened here. I was just about to bring a towel to cool this poor fellow said. Smarmy gaffer. I had no expectations for him in the first place, but, but that man really has a shaky head read for his backbone. Although the pawnbroker switching sides in a heartbeat and the finger pointing clock slander over something I wasn't responsible for, too, hurt me a little, I was determined to stand firm. Free. <sighs> Feel lethals over there? Stop. Freeze in your tracks. Mostly because it was clear that we had to run right now. If I kept it, if I kept letting small things bother me, I would be reduced to a pulp sooner rather than later. <laughs> no need to run. Let's just kill them all and be done with it. What's next? You're going to wipe out the whole syndicate? That doesn't sound too bad. The forces of evil must be uprooted with haste in order to, to raise the banner of justice high. Uh, so, is there seriously no one on your team who's in their right mind? Ishmael looked in insulted by this remark and seemed to be thinking of a counter argument. But the Ting Dan goons arming, arming themselves were a more pressing matter. Let's just. Let's get out of here first. Alright, so we'll be fighting the Tin Tan Goon and then replacing their boss. Um, yeah. Alright, let's change out the sinner here for this level 3. Drive. As so they predicted all the pawnbrokers were busy closing their street entrances to avoid trouble. Hey, you pricks! Stop right where you're standing. You think you can get away with messing with our family? Can you fave? What's with British syndicates and their pretend families? Is that the only thing they can think of to bond with each other? Look at the bump you made on our precious John's heads. Good gracious. This was, this was not part of the plan. Effie clutches his forehead as if it were aching. I thought about grading him to keep or I thought about goading him to keep some headache pills at hand if this was enough to cause him pain, but I refrained. My lack of a head would have made the message far less impactful anyway. You too. You thought we were worth worthless comma to now, didn't you? I know you've been seeing our group as sewage full of waste. I, mean, I don't think anyone spoke of us that harshly out this. Have you not wondered why they have been charged with a momentous, momentous mission of claiming golden bows despite that? Why is that? Even Effie seemed to be taken aback by all this imposing attitude. Although I won't disagree that uh, the others are rubbishly, are rubbish is drenched in foul water. No, seriously, you're the only one who says that. Oh, oh. oh that's what Ms. Altis have been thinking all this time. I have remained undefeated and our manager is capable of resuscitating us, making us pr practically incapable of death. In fact, just the two of us should be sufficient. Though that Rizzo Virgilius seems to disagree. The point is, these 
Traitors won't be scraped even after countless battles. Won't be scrapped even after countless battles. They will come back as the exact same piles of trash they were before death. Wow. That was a very inspiring way of reaffirming that we're living, breathing garbage to you. Morals. Enemies are approaching. Are you prepared, manager? We have a like a. I think Altis is also like from the military or something, and she's like used to uh, talking down to people. I think matching the colors is uh, good, but I don't think it's everything. Like sometimes you do want to use an actually better skill. Although I mean, at this point of the game, I don't think it matters too much. <laughs> Okay, I see that it's not Yes not uh, getting any easier <laughs> for sure I mean, both of uh, or I mean all four of them have uh, two skills each time we leveled up again. Can you get good cups, sir? Parokanda. Right. More fighting, probably. They made for pathetic foes. That was absolutely nothing. The Tintan Tan Gang had tight control over this area. This is not going to be the end of. Just then, more Tin Tanners began showing up from the street corner. Who sent their haircuts to mess with us? We are the proud soldiers of Lim. Uh, Effie quickly covered Don Quixote's mouth. Have you lost it? Do you want the entire district after us? More are coming. Give us your command, manager. Alright. So... I guess we're just fighting some goons. For now. Who could have pushed up again? 
예술이 뭔지 보여주네 Dagger. Okay. Lighter는 챙겨온 거야? 이모 중에 찾아오시면 안 되는데. 왜? 뭐? Lighter는 챙겨온 거야? Okay, so the sanity does. I don't think the sanity being lowered is affected that much. I think it's like a, I don't know what it affects exactly. That's an axe. Alright. I mean, it's definitely a little bit harder than the first chapter, but you know, not that much more difficult. Damn it! They're just—they just won't stop coming. They'll all wear our lives out before we can even take a step inside the casino. Don't fret, Heathcliff, as long as the manager is with us, we won't die from fatigue or other things. That's not the point at all. The solution is simple. Any organization can be brought down by disposing of its leader. When the, uh, with the head gone, the meat supporting it will break apart. You, you're the only one speaking my tongue here. I'm proper mid. So let's go break some bones, Ed, or whatever. Ed, onward we travel. Wait, come back here. This is the crowd you're supposed to accompany Faust. Life is full of mysteries. That perhaps is what makes it makes it an ideal reflection. No. 
Okay, so Yi San is number one, and False is number two, and I think both of them are the smartest person on the group in the group. Tell me where you, your gaffer is. I want to see him now. He's kind of grabbed a mook by the collar and shook it about violently. To me, it looked as if anything still conscious had, life, had left already. And maybe even more than that. The sea heart is gonna be at the car pagoda. The what? what the hell is that? Makes sense. It's probably the scrapyard nearby. Really though, are you actually planning to take down the gang's boss? That won't be reflecting your employee performance review or anything, you know? It's, he's not sharp enough to calculate such things into his actions. It's waste, bearing little relation to schemes or plots. On the other hand, he flirts, close to, he flirts closely with nonsense? <laughs> no, I do think that makes sense. Nothing to worry about, Effie. We always keep a plan B, don't we? Sally spoke with a serene face. However, I could see her consciously trying to maintain calm from time to time, giving me reason to suspect that she's putting on a reel of kindness. If discussing as your given roles is out of the question, we can all get up as members of the Tin Tang gang instead. That way, you won't arouse much of suspicion moving in a large group, and you'll be able to reach the top floor without much trouble. And we could siphon some wish power from Tin Tang gang while we're at it. I mean, it feels like everybody has their problems. Uh, and we're just about to... We might find out about the next person <laughs> uh, in this chapter. I wonder how many chapters there are. In total, let me go back and uh, do some missions here. Have you sang in battle? All right, well. I guess it's just time to continue. Okay, it feels like there's so much progress to be made in this chapter. Mmm. Need to do the mission with this sand. Alright. Dude, that's right. Oh, Dude, that's right. Oh, Come hither, fellows, and lend me your gazes. What is what this? this? Cars are heaped upon each other as if to form a tower. Somber. The structures that seemed uh, tower-like at a distance were actually cars stacked upon each other. Why are so many piled up like this? Oh, 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 oh. Some have scripts upon their windshields. It must be their family's writing. This one says, I miss you. The owners are coming back soon for them, right? Not a chance. Even if they did return from the casino, they wouldn't be in the right state to happily reunite with their loving families. Well, to play the auxiliary role of your tour guide, this year is a hidden landmark of the street. The bitter end of gamblers. And this serves as a stepping stone for the Tin Tang Gang to amass a wealth and power by dealing used. So, Rodia, 
You've been playing. You've been to places like this pretty often, right? Got anything to add? Bet you could tell us some pretty interesting trivia. Wait, 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 wait. What? I just noticed that Gregor is number thirteen. Isn't there only twelve? 아, 몰라 몰라. 기억 안 나. Maybe... 난 과거는 다 있고 살아가기로 결심했어. Are there 13 people? Uh, don't know, don't know. Don't remember a thing. I decided to forget all about the past and focus on what's in front. And I would be able to keep that to that, that self-promise if not for <laughs> irritants like them. <laughs> but when, who do you think that you are to goof around? You are our turf. Or what? You're here to sell car? Nay, we mount an omnibus. We don't deal in organs so. though. Hmm, well, I guess the car buys vegetables and specially colored messengers might sell. So, we have come to the right place. We're here for your leader. you're facing a gang. Who do you think can work for? Who do you have work for? We surrender the... <clears throat> An upper silence pass. I can ask you a question. Don't stop midway. So she does have some sense in her <laughs> Don Quixote, that is. But they're just. It feels like it's just a ram like a group of. Just random people. Loja, Kyojan Shiza. Someone else is staggered. Who could have pushed up? Of course, there's a second phase. Okay, I think uh, two for everybody is the maximum. I mean, in Library of Arena, you do get like three or four actions based on your like level, emotion level cap or something like that. Uh, I forget the exact term that they use. Okay. 
침묵을 안겨드려 안전한 침묵 쉽네 Alright 깔끔한 전투였어요 적의 모든 급소를 파악했거든요 Okay, we finally got to one or no, two characters to level 11 그렇게 급하게 들어가나 했더니 벌써 점심 시간이었군. but every identity up separately because I'd like to at least get every one to level 10 because every single identity has their own stats that they can attribute contribute to the to the to the team but of course we still need like a good Team to actually uh, do the mission. Oh, Jesus! Show us. Yang Yang, if I'm not mistaken, I can just eat the way I want. Ah, what's up? Okay, well, let's try this one. Ah, <sighs> hmm, what's up? 형님, 아, 소속도 안 밝힌 놈들이 나도 없이 들이닥치고 옵니까? 누가 보낸 거냐? 차림을 보니까 하바데로 파나청 육전판 녀석들은 아니고. Tells me that it and lost Aberon, Aberon, Aberneros or the butchers. 지금이라도 싹 불러가면 사지 멀쩡하게는 보내주마. I'll let you leave with your limbs in tow. 그대가 입고 있는 옷을 순순하게 벗어주면 물러가겠소만. If you were to take off your clothing for us. 하, 아니 그렇게 말하니까 좀 이상해지는데. That makes it sound kind of weird. 이상해지는데. 형님, 그 숨으로 떠돌던 사람 죄치로 이상한 걸로 한다는 그런 집단인 것 같습니다. People have been talking about, you know, rumor to fatango with people's odors. 이 악겨운 새끼들. 인생 그렇게 살지 말아라. Let me tell you, that's no way to live. Now our assumed big boss of the gang is looking at us with genuine disgust. I have not wanted to win the fight as desperately as I do now. Okay, so we're fighting the boss now. I guess the end of the mission is actually it's the golden bow. So each. Yeah, I guess each chapter is for the golden bow, and the way that we get there is just so. It seems like so difficult or so long. Okay, I'll do it. 
Uh, yeah, actually, I have to uh, go back to the tutorial again. I don't really remember what uh, matching the colors really do. What does matching the colors do again? Jakanda! Okay, so I see that the yeah, the <laughs> points is like yeah. a chance. Every every character has, including the, including the enemy, has a. Uh, has to fail once, but it, even if you fail, you can still recover. Uh, if you go well, the next chance, then you'll. So you do have to win, win twice. Oh, there's wave three. How many? There are so many more attacks. ちょうどチャイペイシーセンゴンチルゴンネヨ。チェミヌノッケチマン、クロケアケヨ。ちょうどチャイペイシーセンゴンチルゴンネヨ。I don't know how many. Uh, I think we lost another one. This boss has five attacks. The thing is, I can't choose my targets, right? Loser, Okay, he staggered. Okay, that's good. It's close. <laughs> that's that, that's really close. Um, I'm not doing any damage. Oh my god. I was like, I can't, I don't think I can handle another onslaught of that. Tired little roaches. Who the hell do you work for? 
My condolences to the poor fellow's patient. We seriously have to wear these though? That reeks of sweat and blood and smells grossly too. Rodia complained. Everything is a shirt she took from a tin tan member with two fingers like she was handling trash. Like some hair too. This is the first time I'm jealous of Dante's missing eyes. I can see by the way. This looks pretty dandy, actually. I guess their business was more successful than I thought. I want that. Baxi. And it's been tailor made. The label here says it's good for old girls. Noticing that my gaze was fixed on the label of his clothing, Effie backed. え、ちょえ。いろんな色ぼこしっぱさよ。いろんな色ぼこしっぱさよ。いろんな色ぼこしっぱさよ。いろんな色ぼこしっぱさよ。いろんな色ぼこしっぱさよ。いろんな色
put this on your arm. You'll be the luckiest person in the city for a short while. Now then, you act as the king tanners, and we'll be crop ears. Break a leg, everyone. Volume that will see this operation to success no matter what. He opens the door to the casino. Alright, so next up is inside the casino. Hey, Somshi. Is it a little bit of a mess? Yeah, and we leveled up again. 